Welcome back everyone. If you're new, this is a design channel where I share my design journey and how I apply the powerful design thinking in our everyday life. If you want to land a UX design internship or job in Silicon Valley, in the tech industry, in the Bay Area, if that's your goal, you can totally use and leverage your design skills to your advantage. And the first step of that, of course, is research. Scrape the internet and YouTube to find out what are the processes that are involved in the hiring or interview process. And that is exactly what I'm going to share today. Because in this video, I'm going to share some of the interviews that I have with these tech companies in the Bay Area, in Silicon Valley, these fang companies, how many rounds that they were, what were the rounds, what type of interviews, what are the processes that were involved. I'm going to cover some big companies like Apple, Google, Facebook, to smaller ones like Pinterest, Airbnb, Robinhood, etc. If you're new to design in Silicon Valley, this video should give you a heads up on what to expect if you apply for those positions, so that you can prepare better to break into this exciting industry. And speaking of breaking, let's break into the intro. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. The first thing you have to know is that every company tends to have their own hiring process for UX design. And I'm using UX very loosely here. Depends on their culture and value, they will set up their interview process differently. If you've passed all the rounds at Apple, that doesn't mean you're guaranteed a role at Google. If you fail Facebook, that doesn't mean you're a bad designer, you might ace all the rounds at Twitter. Despite all the variations and type of interviews they might have, I think that I have interviewed enough that I see a pretty obvious pattern. No matter how they spin it, I think there's only going to be a relatively fixed set of rounds. Now for further ado, let's dive right into what those routes are. Let's start with the company that you might absolutely hate or love, Facebook slash Meta. For internships, the process that I know are actually fairly straightforward. The 30 minute phone interview, phone screen with the recruiter, and then 45 minutes portfolio presentation with your hiring manager or a, another product designer on the team. And then it will be another 45 minute interview, which is an app critique round that you pick an app together with your uh, interviewer or maybe Uber, Lyft, Google Maps, Yelp, Snapchat, apps that you use on a daily basis. So you can critique on what the problem the app trying to solve, what are the users, what type of users are they, like what are their behaviors, what are the motion design, visual design, interaction design, how is the app put together? Does things make sense here? What do you like about the app? What do you not like about the app? Essentially, you want to find out which part of the app actually blows your mind and which part of the app that sucks so much that you want to smash your phone to the wall. For full time, the process is actually still very similar. You still have the phone screen interview, 30 minutes with the recruiter, portfolio presentation, and also app critique. And then after this initial interview, you're going to go into an on-site interview process. And I have never made it into that, so I don't know what other rounds involved. If you've gone through that process, comment down below so that I know what's going on there. Next is Apple. I had one call with the hiring manager on iCloud team in 2015. It's just a 130 minute call with the hiring manager, going through what I did at school, what was my previous internship, what I had worked on in the past. The entire conversation actually feels very organic. It's almost like a casual coffee chat that you don't feel like it's an interview. Or at least I didn't feel like it was an interview. And then it didn't go anywhere, so that's what I know about this one. Next is another internship in 2018 with the Marcom team. Also just one phone call, and it's just looking at my backgrounds, like what have I done in school again, uh, what projects I work on, what do I want to work on, so gauging my interest and what I'll be, might be doing or interested in doing in the upcoming summer. My skills, what tools that I use, what technologies that I, that I like to play with. And again, this is the only phone call I have for this interview. Next was in 2018 for another internship with the Keynote team. And this one is not a phone call, but a FaceTime call. So I actually get to see the hiring manager face to face. This is like another background call that uh, the hiring manager asked me, what I work on at school? What is my program at school? What I wanted to do after I graduated? Uh, what projects that I worked on? What project that I did when I was uh, in the past internship at Google and Pinterest and Microsoft, etc. And what projects or what type of projects I want to work on for an internship. Again, this also feels very organic and casual. And that was the only round that I had. The last interview that I had with Apple was in 2019, also for an internship with the prototyping team. So it started with a phone call with the hiring manager to go through a portfolio presentation. So I was basically walking through my online portfolio, 
over the phone asynchronously. There's no way I can guarantee that my hiring manager was looking at the same thing as I was presenting. So I tried to go slow and make that work. And then after that round, there was a design exercise that was given to me that, that would take me one week to finish. After I got the exercise and read through the prompt, I have another call with the hiring manager to go through any questions and clarification that I might need. Then I did the exercise, turned it into a PDF, sent it over, and then it was a design exercise presentation going through my flow process and my final solution over the phone. The next is Google, an internship for 2016. I spoke with two teams. The first one was YouTube, and then the first round was a phone call with the hiring manager, background interview, gauge my interest. They talk about their projects, what they're working on. And then the next round is skill assessment-ish, looking at my portfolio, walkthroughs, phone call. Interestingly, it was with an engineer. Hmm. As for Daydream, again, background interview, walk through my portfolio asynchronously over the phone again. It was not very in-depth, just walk through the project, basically clicking through different projects and see what I've worked on. Then it was skill assessment, looking at what tools I use, how good I am with those tools. Another interview for an internship in 2017 with Project Aura, which was the Google Glass division or team. There's only one round, which is about a 45 minute phone call is a background interview, briefly go over my background, but also a problem solving session. I think I mentioned that in my Google internship video, check that out for more details. But it essentially was a live design exercise interview. They give me the prompt on the fly in the interview over the phone. And then I have to think about how I will walk through the process from research, ideation, prototype, test, and iterate through all those stages. And those are my internships, interviews with Google, and it seems like from what I have heard after 2017, there are more other rounds like the recruiter phone screen and also a design exercise round. Well, since we are all caught up with Google, next is Robinhood. I had one interview in 2019 for an internship. First, 30 minute phone call with the recruiter, design exercise, do it in one week. And then design exercise, presentation, 45 minutes. I make a dedicated deck to document my some of my process and my solution. Next is Pinterest. It was for an internship in 2016. First round, phone call with the recruiter, the design recruiter actually. So we went through my background, what I did in the past, and actually I need to present my portfolio over the phone asynchronously again. And then next round is a video call, portfolio presentation, share screen with the hiring manager. And then next, another video call with another designer uh, at Pinterest, but this more is about culture fit, looking at my design philosophy, what project that I like, what product that I like, what product that I don't like, and ask me to elaborate on my thought process. So I covered this, I think, in my Pinterest internship video, so check that out if you're interested. Next is Airbnb, 2018 for internship. I had one phone call with the hiring manager, going through my background, and then design exercise for one week. Next is Lyft, for an internship in 2019, First round, phone call with one designer walking through my portfolio over the phone again. And also some background questions and what I like to work on. Then Uber for a communication design internship in 2016. They gave me a design exercise to do it. I sent it over, nothing came back. Next, Yelp, product design internship in 2016. I got an exercise, I did it, I sent it back. They gave me some feedback and that's pretty much it. Palantir internship in 2016. First round with the hiring manager about culture fit, background, my interest, and then design exercise. After that, of course, design exercise presentation. Over video call, I can share what I have, but I didn't have a deck. I only have papers with sketches and wireframes. So you know how it turned out. Then another interview for a full-time position in 2019. It started with a portfolio presentation, 45 minutes. Over the video call, I can get to share my screen but I share my online portfolio. Probably a bad move. DoorDash, full-time, 2019. I actually covered this more in depth in one of the videos. Check that out, corner description. 45 minute presentation in person. So I use Keynote, an interview with the PM, a problem solving session, whiteboarding. So I have to use their giant whiteboard with a marker, running all my notes, my thought process, my wireframes, and my solutions, and my elevator pitch. It was uh, a collaborative session with 1 p.m. another designer. And then a cultural fit interview. And then it wraps up with a hiring manager final chat. This is not really an interview, but more of me interviewing them. If I have any final questions, ask them. That's when I do it. Next, Waymo for an internship in 2018. There's only one round, uh, video call with the entire design team, portfolio presentation, walk through my online portfolio together. 
screen share of a video call. Next is weighing my current position, 45 minute portfolio presentation, I did it in person, keynote, and then three interviews with three different engineers and one PM interview. Lastly, hiring manager chat, any questions that I have over lunch actually. Next is Fitbit, a full-time position, Again, portfolio presentation, 45 minutes, in person, I did it in Keynote, a whiteboarding session, problem solving, whiteboarding session, and then I had an interview with the user researcher, and an interview with the PM, and at the end, again, hiring manager, final chat. Next is Chime, which is a fintech startup in San Francisco, again, first round, portfolio presentation, in person, I did it in Keynote, an interview with the user researcher, an interview with the customer success and then interview with an engineer, and at the end, hiring manager, final chat. Whew. So this is the 15th interview that I covered. Are you bored yet? Or well, at least I'm getting bored. If you're getting bored too, um, well, that's perfect because you just proved my point from the very beginning. It gets boring because the content gets repetitive. It's repetitive because you clearly saw a pattern that starts to repeat itself, a clear pattern of what type of rounds and types of interview it will be. So to zoom out, here's how I will sum it up. There are basically eight different types of interview in general. First, you have the phone screen with, with recruiter. You should pass this, no problem, easy peasy. And then portfolio presentation, 45 minutes, we'll talk about one to two projects. It could be in person, it could be through a phone call asynchronously, which is pretty bad, or a video call, which you can screen share. And then app critique, typically 45 minutes, pick an app, go through all the aspects of it. Facebook famously have this round all the time. A design take home exercise, design exercise presentation, culture of the interview, where you talk about your design philosophy, your self-awareness, your worldview, soft skills, how to work and treat people. And then it's the background interview, what you have done in the past, what you do at school, what projects that you did, just talk about it, don't have to show anything. And of course, skill assessment, like what tools you use, what tools you know, how well you know those tools. Last one, problem solving. So this could be either live design exercise that you talk through it on the fly, there's no preparation beforehand while you're in a call, video call or phone call, or a whiteboarding session which you cannot prep either. You just have to go into the meeting room, well, if it's in person, and then they will, you were given a prompt, and then you draw everything, all your entire thought, unload your entire process on the whiteboard, and walk through it, work with them to finish the project. So just a side note, all the interviews that I had was only representing the time that I was interviewing. So if you apply now or interview with those same companies, the rounds might have changed because the time has changed, or the orders might be different. But that's fine because I don't think or I don't foresee they're going to change too drastically. It's not going to be so dramatically different from all these eight rounds. Which is exactly the point of this video. Knowing all this as your first step research, go to the second step, turn to the truth of the 21st century to find out more about what these steps are and what they involve so you can prepare them and land your first or your dream job in Silicon Valley. All right, cool. What do you think about that walkthrough of 15 interviews and covering all those rounds? Am I missing any rounds or type of interviews that I'm not aware of? Is that helpful or you'd rather see other types of content? I read every comment, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. In some of the upcoming videos, I will probably go through what I did for those rounds and what I learned from those rounds once I fell, so that I can pass my learning to you for your UX adventures. And here are some related topics I plan to do in future videos. If you have a strong preference of which one you want to see first, simply let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful or insightful, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This is still a very small channel, so every like counts and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more UX design videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers!